Okay, hi y'all, um, Mindy here. Um, because for the fifth edition um, CC Cycle 1 Science Experiments, this one particular experiment, Updraft, didn't have a video from the fantastic director in the past who's now retired, but she has a ton of videos that I've sent you um, links to. Um, she didn't have one for this one because it was not in the fourth edition, but it is in the fifth. I wanted to go ahead and make you a video. Um, so, we're gonna do updraft. Now, remember for week 18, fifth edition, the first one will be one number 140 push up with the bowl and the water cups and water. You'll talk about that. And then you're gonna do this one. Um, so remember you have two experiments to do, 30 minutes, come in to clean up, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about updraft. In the book, it has the diagram of using a lamp. Okay, you can see there. Several directors on the director's Facebook page, and I tried it, couldn't get it to work with a lamp, and I think the issue must be LED bulbs just don't get as hot. Um, so, playing around, um, decided to use candles. So, of course, that makes it a little bit more of a safety issue, so I need you to really make sure you think through how you do this and the group that you work with. So, I would suggest doing push-up first, and then set up for this one and talk about it and then maybe have half your students journal because our campus uses journaling for science every week. Do the journaling of maybe what they guess will happen, things like that, and then switch and do it with four other kids. But you know your kids best, so I trust you on that. Maybe totally fine for masters and apprentices or I don't know, whoever, to have all eight around when you start the candle part. But do all the other steps first, talk about it, do predictions, observations, think about it, and then do the candle last so that it's safety um, and all of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at it. So it wants you to create a spiral with tissue. You're gonna have the tissue in your kit that I will give you a tutor meeting. Um, and it's up to you on how you decide to do the spiral. If you want to make them ahead of time um, for the students, you may. Um, that's fine. And then maybe in class, tape them or in a class, hand them out and then just start um, the process. But I wanted to show you how I made the spiral so that it saves you, you don't have to Google it. Because <laughs> I had to Google it. So I made a square, you saw, um, of the tissue and then I folded it once and then I folded it twice and I cut, okay? Then you're going to cut in this spiral. Okay, and you're gonna I'll hold this up so you can see. How's it going, Chloe? All right. So you're just going to make your very own spiral here. And again, I do not think this would be a great thing for the abyssidarians to do on their own. Um, but that's your call. You're the tutor. Um, Okay, so there I have this spiral. I'm gonna let it drop back down. Okay, so now what I did when I, I made this, you see this one kind of blippy thing? That's a word I made up. I'm just gonna cut that to make it a little more smoother. Okay, so I have my little spiral. And then you're gonna have your string and it's said to cut six inch string um, to attach. Okay, so you're gonna do that. And again, you'll have all this in your kit. The candle and the matches I will bring and set into the science room. So they'll be in there ready for you when you come in. We will use the same candle because it, it barely burns anything. It's for the heat, okay? Now, something that I kind of figured out when I was doing this on my own, practicing for y'all, um, is to make sure you don't have a ton of tape because it weighs the tissue paper down. So trim it around the tissue paper so that um, it's not super heavy. Okay. Yeah, you know, some people um, I saw that have done this not only with tissue paper but with Kleenex and it works also. Okay, something I really want to make sure you understand. 
you're going to talk about it, um, ask them what they think will happen. It's all about discovery and thinking thing about things scientifically. Um, and just curiosity sakes, okay? I want you to be prepared that it may not work really well the first time. And then you're going to ask them why. But we, I will show you some things that I've figured out to tweak it. Okay? And so you're going to be really careful at the church, right? Because we don't want to burn down this church. All right, so then you're going to take it and you're going to put it right above. Okay, did you see that? Did you see it spin? Then we'll do it again. Okay, have it down. You're going to put it right over the heat. Okay, you can feel the heat. Okay, so it's spinning. Now, something I noticed is... Um, and you are welcome to do this. It was harder to do the heavier. It still works, but because it's a little candle. All right, so it's not spinning great, but it is moving. Okay, so that is still part of the process. Talk to them about what, what is going on here. Why is it doing that? Um, and it's okay to tweak things as you go along. It's just... This is what um, was chosen, and <laughs> um, it's just kind of a part of the scientific process and experiment to see that sometimes it works differently. All right, so again, just remember it's your second experiment. You can tweak it and try each student differently and see how it goes. All right, so again, journal, talk about it, um, and all of that. And remember, it's two experiments. This is just the second one. Thanks, y'all.